In the headlines, government establishes supporting sustainable ecosystem program, new housing development to complement new hotels in Portsmouth and 75% near normal prediction for this hurricane season. Hello and welcome to National Focus, I'm Priska Julian. Stay tuned for details of the headline stories and others coming up. Welcome back. Agricultural land being sold by government will soon come with a lifetime encumbrance. That announcement came from the Honorable Prime Minister, Dr. Roosevelt Skerritt. The Prime Minister was addressing a handing over ceremony on Friday and articulated that the goals of government is to ensure that farming lands are used for only that purpose. Very soon you we will also be articulating some very stringent um, land use practices because and even with the sale of government lands, agricultural lands, as the new Minister for Lands, when we sell you agricultural lands, you will not be able to dispose of it for any other purpose but to grow crops. Previous to this measure, persons were bound to use agricultural land for a minimum of 10 years before using the land for other purposes. There will be a, an eternal encumbrance on the land. So I have re, I am removing the 10-year encumbrance. And what some of our citizens do is that they sell the land to, to people and they, they sit out the 10 years. They sit out the 10 years, five years left, they sit out with the understanding between themselves and the buyer that you won't get the title until five years' time. Well, I'm sending a message to all of us in Dominica. There's no limit in the encumbrance. When we sell agricultural land, it has to be passed on to succeeding generations to plant crops, to feed ourselves. <laughs> He lamented that prime agricultural land for too long and too often has been used for other purposes, primarily residential buildings, and called for the support of those currently owning or listing agricultural land. Honorable Skerritt believes conserving major agricultural land is key for ensuring food security and protecting Dominica's successful farming practices. I do not want to have a situation where now or the foreseeable future where we have to import certain crops that we've always known to grow. Because I was saying to somebody who told me, well, you know, we can use vert vertical agriculture. I say, yes, but you can't use vertical agriculture for bananas <laughs> or for plantains. Yes. When you need a certain land space for bananas and for plantains. You can't grow bananas in, in, a, in a greenhouse. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Um, so, Yes, we'll, use, we'll employ new farming practices and techniques, but there are some things that must remain the traditional way. And, um, to, and we have to protect the traditional way of agriculture. In more news, Cabinet in the quest to strengthen Dominica's ecosystem has approved a project steering committee to support the communities surrounding the Montuapito National Park. This support so far has taken the form of cash and kind to farmers who can play a pivotal role in the protecting of the ecosystem. Government is in the process of implementing a project entitled Supporting Sustainable Ecosystems by Strengthening the Effectiveness of Dominica's Protected Area Systems. For this, the aim is to establish a buffer zone around the Montuapito National Park, which is a World Heritage Site, as well as strengthen the management system of the national parks and protected systems in Dominica. For the first phase of implementation under this program, government has decided to engage surrounding communities as the co-managers of the ecosystem in that area by equipping them to employ sustainable and eco-friendly farming practices. Commit yourselves to work alongside the government to co-manage co the park for the benefit of all mankind. Apart from cash and kind, some of you will be provided with training. And I know some of you have already received training. We want to encourage you to practice organic agriculture, sustainable agriculture, and resilient agriculture. 
A.N. King, Country Program Specialist of United Nations Development Program, the UNDP, commented at the handing over ceremony last Friday where farmer groups were provided with assistance for improving their farming practices and sustaining their livelihood. He believes that this project fits in seamlessly with Dominica's move for resilience. But along with a low-carbon climate resilient project, that these are consistent um, so this is consistent with the paradigm shift um, envisaged and the emerging climate, the national climate resilience strategy and plan that's um, being developed. So we recognize that today represents in many respects an important step forward of the project, um, paves the way for several activities to be advanced. And we look forward to working with the, the project management units in both projects um, and a new minister to unlock the potential in these Jeff-funded initiatives, Jeff being the Global Environment Facility. The first step in supporting the program is supported by the Global Environment Fund and the UNDP. With the hurricane season already here, the Dominica Meteorological Service is hoping that Dominicans will, as a result of last year's events, take heed of the information disseminated by the office. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration is predicting a 35% chance of a near-to-normal season and a 40% chance of a below-normal season in 2018. A normal hurricane season has 12 named storms, 6 hurricanes and 3 major hurricanes. We expect um, in the region of 10 to 16 named storms, um, 5 to 9 hurricanes and 1 to 4 major hurricanes of category 3 and above. That is having wind speeds of in excess of 111 miles per hour. There is a 70% likelihood of 10 to 16 named storms with winds of 39 miles per hour or higher, 5 to 9 hurricanes with winds of 74 miles per hour or higher, and 1 to 4 major hurricanes, categories 1, 2, 3, or 4. Hurricane Maria, Irma, and other intense storms left unprecedented destruction in their paths in 2017. So how does the season compare to last hurricane season? Last hurricane season, the forecast was for an above normal season. And then it, it was in fact above normal because we saw flu sand. And as I always say to people, the prediction is not a landfall prediction. So the key factor is to be prepared because there could be a forecast for probably 20 named storms and then you could just have, you could have none hitting Dominica directly. And then, then there could be a forecast for just five named storms and one could become a category five hurricane and hit Dominica directly. And that would make it a bad season for us. So the main emphasis should be on preparations. Even more so after the island saw what lack of preparation can mean. However, Alexander suggested a couple of factors affecting the dissemination of information with regards to Hurricane Maria last September. Last year, especially for Maria, we had a few challenges. Um, the first challenge is that the system underwent what you call rapid intensification, which means that the system intensified during a short space of time, and then we had the weekend effect. You know, during the holidays, you know, persons that already listen to the radio on weekends, and then it's, you don't have the media being so much upbeat during the weekend. So then the information perhaps was not as the way, you know, dis disseminated as the way we would like it, you know, because of that situation. But we had first-hand experience as to what a Category 5 hurricane can do. So we should know where we stand in Dominica. I mean, for those of us who went through that Category 5. So we should know that preparation is key. So right now, we have to look at preparing for Category 5 and praying that we do not receive any impact from any system. The Met Office is coming up with innovative ways of getting the message of impending storms across in a more direct way to citizens. All this while cautioning nationals to be aware of information from unauthorized sources. Sometimes the social media can disturb the information. So persons have to get the information from the relevant source. Because if we get the information from the National Record Center, then we would have to tweak that information to suit our situation in Dominica because the National Hurricane Center will always refer to, the, to um, saying that the individual should take information from their local uh, med services. 
So the local med services would be responsible for or would be specific to Dominica. So if you get information, you can. You, there's not a problem getting information from outside, but then that information has to be verified. The public have to realize that the weather is dynamic and that things can change. So we might put out a forecast for a certain situation and then within 24 hours, things can change. So you have to always stay updated. So you have to update your information. You listen this morning, then you listen the next morning and then things might change. And finally, this news time, Member of Parliament for the Cottage Constituency, Reginald Austri, says the development of housing in the Cotton Hill area has added value for the transformation taking place in that part of the north. He says in order to add value to the hotel development taking place in the area, it is important that surrounding communities are upgraded. Lago Rally represents the gateway into the heartland of tourism in the north of the country. The beach is almost gone. How do we bring that back? That is going to be a major component of the development. These houses we have on the side of the road, something has to be done with them, even those that are not part of this Cotton Hill development. You have to do something about the houses from by the Para Bridge going right back down to Purple Turtle. You have to do some enhancement of the environment and the area if you have to add value to the Kapinski Hotel and the Moroccan Hotel. The town of Portsmouth also has a thriving yachting business and is home to Ross University, which has brought much economic development to the town. Government has also made lands at Chance Portsmouth easily accessible, and this has led to housing and infrastructural development in the area. Honorable Austri was speaking at the launching of the Northern Housing Project last week. And that's the English segment of the news. Shakira Pierre is up next with Creole Highlights. Bienvenue à ce nouvel accueil, non, c'est Shakira Pay. Gouvernement Dominique a fait manœuvre pour bâtir leur deuxième et puis troisième projet CAI. J'ai dit en Guantanamo, le gouvernement lance ce projet CAI là pour notre pays là. Le projet ça là, qui a été par nous là, Phoenix Development là à Georgetown. La 68 ou 226 CAI qui est bâti. Ministre pour les affaires CAI, Premier ministre, Honorable Dr. Roosevelt Scary, dit le développement CAI Sala qui est lancé en Guantanamo, c'est commitment du gouvernement pour faire Dominique premier pays là en latin là qui s'appelle changement climatique. Honorable Scary dit que c'est CAI là qui est bâti à Georgetown, c'est CAI qui est ni moun bien safe par la yon des as. En même temps, l'honorable Scary dit ses résidents Guantanamo là qui développent ça là et puis d'autres développent ça qui qui prend place ou en pays là, qui vient et puis en pays. C'est qui fait honorable Scary m'a des dominateurs pour deux bouts en défense pour citizenship by investment programme là. En même temps, la même parlement pour constituency Guantanamo, honorable Ian Douglas dit il bien plaisir pour projet ça là qui il dit qui est trois formes Guantanamo. Un par projet sala qui est ni yon kai administratif, qui est ni epe service gouvernement qui moun ni accès selma ouzo. Projet kai sala qui est développé par Montreal Management Consultant Establishment, même compagnie la qui a bâti se kai la à Bellevue Shopee pour résidence Petit Savan. Yon projet kai te aussi lancé pour Cotton Hill, Lago, la yon lot 68 appartements qui bâti. Mam Parlement la pour Constituency Cottage, Honorable Regional Austri, dit pas seulement ce projet sala qui est transformé Guantas, mais qui aussi mène des positif pour la communauté en nord pays là. A d'autres nouvelles, vendredi, ministre agriculteur, mangé et puis presseur, a manière pour faire un secteur qui est plus résilient, tient un entraînement pour éduquer les gens qui engagé en affaires agricultes à ce sujet la data collection et puis management information system. Ça, c'est une initiative, la ministre Nef, la pour agriculteur, honorable Reginald Austri, dit qu'il a fait pour mener un changement qui est positif à ministre là. Twen Masala, qui est fait à collaboration et puis ministre Information, Science, Telecommunications and Technology. Permanent Secretary and Ministre Agriculture, Dr. Reginald Thomas, delivered l'adresse là au compte ministre Agriculture, la Honorable Reginald Austri. Dr. Thomas dit Twen Masala, c'est yon gros pas au compte ministre là pour jouer et puis vision ministre là pour point information mais. 
yon uni pou implementasyon poje an menis la te etabli pou fe plan e pi pou manaje poje an menis la e pi an se poje sa la se poje bank la te la. Twen man la pon plas vado edi simen pase an Goodwill Parish Hall. E pi finalman poumye jwen te komansman sezon siklon la. Sezon siklon la se hod poumye jwen pou li 20 novam. Pou fe publik la ni bon anformasyon asou sezon siklon la sa la, nouvel gouvernman pale e pi senior meteorological officer Marshall Alexander Ledi. Nou ka gade ki sezon la ka yi normal e pi an hou normal. E pi nou ka gade ki Nou ka espere ki nou ke tape 10 pou 16 siklon, e pi 5 pou 9 ke vini sa ka ke hurikin, e pi yon pou 4 ke vini move siklon. Sa se siklon ke kategori 3 ki ka mouti, ka ni van yon sa 11 li pan elitan. Ok, se sa se move. Lane pase, Dominik te tape yon move blow hot siklon Maria ki te pase aso le 18 septam. Alexander ka kwye aso tout pou fe manè fou prepare bien pou sezon siklon sa la. Sa se tout pou nouvel akwe yon, nou mwen se Shaki Repe. Ova. That's all for this edition of National Focus. Be sure to follow GIS on facebook.com forward slash GIS News Dominica and follow us on Twitter at GIS Dominica. You can also catch up on past National Focus newscasts on our GIS Dominica YouTube channel. From all of us here on the GIS News production team, I am Priska Julian. Thanks for watching.